welcome to Speaker Span Podcast, a seniors edition, our voices, our views, and I'm Romy, and a student from JTI and I'm also a member of the Speaker Span Podcast team. And today our guest is Ian. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you today? Yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, good. A bit chilly, yeah. but I'm good. Yeah, beautiful. So uh, our, t- uh, our topic for today is about uh, weight loss, which I weight loss. Yeah, I which I believe many people will be interested in it. So we hear that yeah. you had yeah. So we hear that you had an interesting uh, journey about it. Uh, could you please tell us? Yeah, um, about three years ago, I think it was. I decided that I wanted to lose a little bit of weight because I was a very obese man. Yeah. I was close to 160 kilograms. Wow, that's um, quite quite a big number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and then I, I thought if I could lose 20 kilos, it would at least make me feel a little bit better. Yeah. And then once I lost 20 kilos, I thought I might go for 25. And then I went for 30. Then I went for 35. Wow. And it ended up... With, yeah, and then it went to 40. Then I thought, oh, this is easy. I kept on going. And, and, and in the end, I lost about 75 kilograms. Wow, that's, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> about half my size. Oh, you know, my God. So, Couldn't believe you know, that. How can you yeah, do that? Yeah. Um, it, was, it was, to me, it was very easy because I, I have pretty good willpower. If I set myself a goal... Yeah. I I stick to it. I have um, determination. Like many years ago, I was a smoker. I gave up smoking, boom, like that. Yes. Um, with no, I still get cravings for it, and that was 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. But with the weight loss, it was just a, a matter of knowing the what to eat and when to eat and how to eat, you know, and it was, it was for myself, relatively easy. Yeah, so do you think it's any difficulty was there to change your eating habits? Um, no, not really, because my yeah. eating habits didn't change a great deal. I still eat my pizza, I'll still eat KFC, I'll still have a um, wow. uh, a kebab. Yeah, no, I, I still do that. But what I do is I discipline myself. If I know I'm going to have pizza for dinner for that mm-hmm. day, the whole day, I'll just eat fruit and um, protein bars. Yeah. So you keep the balance every day. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. you, you turn around and then you, you, you say, right, well, I've had two bananas and an apple for the day and I've had a protein bar because the protein bars was the secret to my success. Oh. Because, yeah, because the, um, the protein fills you up and, yeah. and you don't feel hungry. Yeah, and give you energy. You, yeah, and if you buy the right ones, you get um, chocolate mint ones. You're still getting your chocolate taste. So, yeah. <laughs> but there's very low carbs and very low sugar in the ones that I buy. Yeah. So it, it was a, just a, a matter of trial and error. And then I would say, right, tonight pizza or tonight KFC. Yeah, that's um, very good. You know, so, yeah, it, it, yeah. Was, it was interesting. It was a yeah. very interesting journey to, to do and as I say like once I got to 25 kilos and 30 and 40 it just just kept on going you, you do hit a flat spot when you when you're dieting you yeah. you will if you're a big person and you start to lose you'll lose lots in the first two weeks mm-hmm. and then your third week you'll probably even gain weight is is oh. one thing that happens you you might gain a half a kilo or a kilo and then you get dejected because you think oh no I've gone through all this for nothing, now I'm putting on weight and I'm sticking to the plan, but it's just your body getting used to your new system that you've, you've, you're doing. It's, um, yeah. Your body gets used to it. Yeah, so you, you, should, you, so you made a plan before you really started or you yeah. just, yeah? No, I, 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 I just um, ad-libbed. I made it up as I went along. It was, <laughs> oh, it was yeah. Like, it was like, like telling a child a bedtime story out of your mind and you're just making it up as you go along and you, it gets on and on and on. And yeah, yeah. it was a very interesting and, journey. Yeah, and you found it is easy for you. <laughs> yeah, it was easy for me, exactly. You know, yeah, wow. 
no surgery, no no exercise. I didn't even exercise. No exercise at all. No, nah, no gymnasium. I, the, wow. the only time I go to a gym is if I'm driving past one or I'm walking past one. You never go into them. Wow. <laughs> So, I believe many people would be jealous for about by two. <laughs> no, no, it's it's as I say, it's just a matter of discipline to to um know what to eat and when to eat, you know. It's uh yeah. so that's the you, point. You just, yeah, you, you, you go along and then you, once once you see the reward, when you see the light at the end of the tunnel, you and if if you know that that night you're going to either have pizza or, or a, a kebab, something yeah. that the average person wasn't wouldn't have, you would know that's your reward. Or you would have a Magnum ice cream. I, I love my Magnum ice creams. Wow. But what I done was I cut out ice cream and I started eating gelati because mm -hmm. there's half the half the amount. So you can have a big bowl of gelati compared to a small bowl of ice cream. So you just have to learn what's good for you and what's not good for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm addicted to gelati. I have a bowl every night. 